Good morning. So, thanks to the internet and Portland, Oregon's quest to keep things weird, pretty much everything is available for sale these days. Does your chicken need diapers? You can buy them. Do you think you're good at cuddling? For $200 in Portland, you can become a certified cuddler. I don't have cats. I don't have, I don't have a cat. If I had a cat, I can certainly imagine that it would be tricky to come up with a meal to feed myself and my cat at the same time. Cooking for Two, Your Cat and You, is available for purchase. It's a cookbook for you and your cat that exists. Here's a problem. I've never experienced it, but apparently some people have. Um, have you ever tried to grab a potato chip out of a bowl? And is that hard? <laughs> if it is for you, um, there's a hand-shaped potato chip grabber product that exists, and you can buy it. You know I don't have a cat. I also don't have a dog. If I had a dog, and if my dog liked hip hop, I would straight up buy that for my dog. Hip hop for dogs. My favorite is the last one, this guy in the upper right. This guy sells jars of his own belly button lint, available for sale. Um, I kind of wish this whole presentation was about what's for sale, but this presentation is about what's not for sale. You know what's not for sale? Family. This is my family. Um, love, straight up not for sale. Confidence and memories are not for sale. I love that confidence shot. Um, those are my kids, first day of school last year, just exuding confidence for first and second grade. Work ethic and style are not for sale. People would line up around the corner for good work ethic or style, but you can't buy that. Joy, confidence, delight, humility, good health, all of these things are not for sale. I work for Schoolhouse Electric. Schoolhouse was founded in 2003 by a guy named Brian Faraday. Great guy, I'm lucky to call him my boss and my friend. Schoolhouse is a lifestyle brand. Uh, we have deep expertise in illumination, in lighting. So um, beautiful light fixtures for your home and for design forward commercial spaces. We also sell furniture, bedding, hardware, everything for the home. Um, we take inspiration from the past and from today and we make it relevant for the future. We're super focused on mindful living at Schoolhouse and also very focused on people's relationships with their home. For those that aren't familiar with us, the schoolhouse aesthetic is aspirational while still being super approachable. There's a lot of authenticity in our aesthetic as well. We almost always shoot our, um, our environmental images at the homes of people that we know and love, people immediately connected to our schoolhouse network. We don't use models. Uh, we try to actually style with the people that live in the homes. And if that's not available, we just throw whoever's at the photo shoot into the, into the images. Authenticity is super important to us, and we want that to come through in our, in our styling. We do a lot of mixing and matching in our styling as well. We love mixing and matching. In fact, we prefer the mix to the match. We mix styles, patterns, aesthetics, eras. We love mixed metals. Um, we do that to show, to be inspiring. We like to inspire others to do the same and in some cases give permission. Uh, we love that perfectly imperfect vibe. We encourage people to embrace their house as a mirror. We believe house should be a mirror, a reflection of the people that live in it and the people that made that house a home. Another thing you'll see in our styling is this um, kind of feelings, emotion. We want, our, we want our imagery to invoke that emotion and to capture, to capture memories, to capture experience, more so than product. This particular image, there's tons of our schoolhouse product worked into that image, but it's not what the image is about. That image is about the chaos of a rad dinner party. I see that image, I want to grab a lemon and just squeeze it into the crab fest. Um, that image actually inspired our Spring 16 catalog and campaign, which was Seek Your Chaos, Find Your Calm. In doing that campaign, we really explored the positive elements of chaos. Chaos gets a bad rep, but it's unavoidable, and there's so much beauty in the chaos that we wanted to explore. 
Most importantly in our styling, uh, we want to always remember that home is a place where memories are made. Whether you find Schoolhouse through our website, our catalog, our stores, we have a store in New York, in Manhattan. We've got a store here in Portland. It's just down the road. I encourage you to come check us out. Um, wherever you find us, you'll notice that we style with a lot of not-for-sale pieces. There's three reasons that we would inject not-for-sale products into our styling. The first is pretty practical. While we have deep roots and expertise in lighting, we're fairly new to the furniture game. And while we have a robust furniture roadmap, we haven't yet filled it all the way out. Um, we hold ourselves to incredibly high standards on behalf of our customers, and until we can get furniture that meets those standards, we'd rather just style with a one-of-a-kind piece or a vintage piece. So that's reason number one. Reason number two I touched on, we love that mix and match thing, and we always want to encourage home to be a collection of treasures that people have accumulated over time. So if you're looking to outfit an entire house, don't come to Schoolhouse. We're not going to fill out every detail of your home. You can find some great products, but you're going to need to mix and match with heirloom pieces, pieces that mean something to you. If your grandma left you a great dresser, make that the centerpiece of your living room and then add other stuff around it. The third is just a bit of a metaphor. This, this image that I'm showing here, um, the tulip table is, the, is a vintage piece. It's the star of the show for that image. And for us, seeing that image is just a reminder that sometimes the very best things are, in fact, not for sale. This next slide's going to get a little bit awkward. I've got a confession. You guys, I'm the vice president of brand, product, marketing, and sales at Schoolhouse Electric. I absolutely want to sell things to people. I want to sell things to people all day long. But this sentence is not very authentic or inspiring to me. It doesn't reflect my values. It doesn't get me out of bed in the morning. It doesn't keep me up at night. I don't use it to inspire my teams. I needed to rework this concept a little bit to make it something that, that motivates me, something that feels real and authentic. There we go. There's my jam. I want to sell heirloom quality things to people who realize the best things are not for sale. That's what I want to do. Heirloom quality, that's an aggressive goal. It's not easy. Uh, at Schoolhouse, we are a product manufacturing company, and we absolutely obsess every detail of every product. We're so well positioned to make heirloom quality products. In fact, the key part of our value proposition, what makes Schoolhouse different than really anybody else in this lifestyle game, all under one building, all under one roof in one building, we're able to obsess every detail of every product. From the moment it's a kernel of an idea until it reaches the shop floor in our, in our beautiful showroom in Portland or New York, so many brains, so many hands have touched that product. Um, all under one roof, we have our design studio. That's where I sit. I've got a product team that's doing product development, product engineering, product design. We've got our marketing the brand teams that are storytelling, making beautiful collateral. Uh, we keep things pretty analog. We have a great digital presence, but our catalog is really our showpiece each season. All of that's coming out of the design studio. Our customer support team is all under the same roof as well. That allows us to obsess customer details, hear the customer insights, react to them, and it also gives customers access to us. Our factory is under the same roof. We have manufacturing, assembly, um, the patina baths, the buffing wheel, all of it is under one roof. Our supply chain, uh, that's a tough job in our business. Our supply chain team is, in, our, is in, in the same building. Those guys have all the right stuff at the right place at the right time. Our retail space is on the ground floor. There's also a coffee shop. We also have HR, IT, finance, all of it. So that to us is absolutely our, our differentiator. It what, it's what makes us able to really pump out the heirloom quality pieces that we do. What's interesting about that, we've got this whole team of people so focused on obsessing the details of these products, and yet our products don't define us. Our products are simply evidence of what we believe in. They're the tangible proof of our value set. I know what you're wondering. What do you believe in? Let me tell you. We believe in family. This picture is Brian with two out of his three children. We have a global supply chain but we absolutely believe in American manufacturing and jobs. 
We believe in second acts and revitalization. The building on the right is our schoolhouse headquarters just down the road. When we, when we bought that building, it did not look like this. We put a lot of blood, sweat, tears, heart, and soul into that building to bring it back to life and make it the beautiful thing that it is today. We recently bought this building on the left. It's in the East Liberty neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and it's our intent to invest in that and make it as great as our Portland building. We're so thrilled to invest, to influence, and to be part of the revitalization of that particular building in the East Liberty neighborhood in, in Pittsburgh. We also believe in second earth start. We also believe in doing less better. Meet Jack. This chair is named Jack. Jack's available in three fabrics. We've obsessed so many of the details of this product so that our customer doesn't have to. I don't know if you guys have bought upholstered furniture lately, but it's pretty standard that you make a million decisions. You can pick from a thousand types of fabric, what color legs do you want, what style do you want, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We've done a lot of that for you. So that if you buy Jack, we have confidence and you should have confidence that that's a great chair for your space. Jack to us epitomizes doing less better. If you buy furniture these days, you're going to wait six to 12 weeks to get that furniture into your home. We keep Jack in stock in our three colors and we stand by it. Jack is made in America, it's high quality, um, high quality materials and it's an exclusive design to schoolhouse. You've seen this slide already. Our products don't define us. Our, product, our products are evidence of what we believe in. I just want to close the loop on this slide now that we've talked a little bit about what we believe in. I want to explain how these three products made it to this slide. Truthfully, I could have put any product from our assortment onto this slide. I just picked three of my favorites to, to make the point. Clocks. This clock is made in America. This clock is um, a throwback to maybe it, Maybe it sparks some nostalgia for you. It's a throwback to an old design that we've, uh, we've brought back to life and made it relevant for the future generations. But most importantly, a clock to me, um, it, it symbolizes our value around mindful living, family, and loved ones. Captain Obvious here. If you want to know what time it is, the best tool for the job is a clock. Uh, in these days, when we want to know what time it is, what do we do? You check your phone. Everyone around you has lost you as soon as you do that. You go down this rat hole. Um, you're on Twitter, you're on Instagram, you're posting, you're checking email, you're checking the score of the game. If you want to know what time it is, hang a clock at home, hang a clock in your office, use your clock. The next product is this beautiful light. This is an, our Otis fixture. And what I really see when I look at this clock on this slide is that glass shade. So in 2002, our founder, Brian Faraday, uh, he bought a bunch of old um, cast iron glass shade molds that were probably never going to be used again. He restored them back to life and started blowing glass shades into them, and that was the genesis for Schoolhouse Electric. It's no wonder that it's such an important part of our DNA to make, um, to take inspiration from old things and make them relevant for the future. That light to me symbolizes that. And finally is a dinner bell. This is a fresh take on a timeless classic. The dinner bell to us symbolizes everything we believe in. That analog chime means it's time to gather around the table, share a meal, gather your friends, have a good time, embrace the chaos, have some gratitude. So you might be wondering, OK, your products don't define you. Your, product, your products are evidence of what you believe in. What does define Schoolhouse Electric? Like any good brand, like any good team, like any good family, we're defined by our people. And it's specifically how our people interact with each other. So in my teams, we have three rules. Work smart, go for it, and be cool. Be cool, I'm not talking like dude, hipster, bro. I, I wish I was cool in those ways, I'm not. I just mean be kind. Be kind, have empathy. Treat people how they want to be treated. Uh, assume positive intent. Work smart. Work smart is all about be on time, take notes, show up. Know what success will look like. Align on what success looks like in advance so you know when you get there. If you're trying to, find, if you're trying to solve a problem, be crystal clear about what problem you're trying to solve. Go for it. That's where you can take risks. Put yourself out there. If you can influence something, you're accountable for it. Be nimble. Embrace change. That's all to go for it. 
Now the magic happens in the middle. What we try to do is keep each other, we hold ourselves accountable and hold each other accountable for staying in the middle. If you get too far down any, into any one of those circles, it's no bueno. If everybody's being cool, um, you might be on vacation all the time. You're probably having a great time, super nice to each other, but I doubt you're getting a lot done. If you're working smart, uh, that's a good thing, but if you're working too smart or if that's your focus, I think you're going to have some epic meeting notes and you're going to stay on task and your agenda is going to be tight, uh, but you're probably not taking enough risk and you know what, it doesn't sound very fun, so that's not what we want to do. Go for it. I think going for it is awesome, but you got to stay grounded too, so if you go for it too hard, you're going to burn out, you're probably taking too much risk uh, and you might not be working very smart. You also might not be that nice to each other. So for us, it's all about that sweet spot in the middle. I think there's a lot in there that could apply. I know a lot of you are um, more in the user experience space, more technology based. We're a pretty analog crew at Schoolhouse, but I, I hope that some of this can apply personally and professionally beyond what we're doing. I'm going to leave you today with some final thoughts on authenticity at home or at work. And this is some copy from our Fall 16 catalog, which just hit homes last week. Chase what you desire, collect what calls your name, and create according to no one's rules but your own. Thanks.